G'day everyone, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on me. Today, amazingly, we are doing two reviews in one. Now, I wanted to do a video to compare expensive darts versus cheap darts to see if the extra money spent was worth it. So first up, we have the expensive set. I have here the unicorn code Gary Anderson darts. Sorry about the mark on the top, my three-year-old got to it with a pen. Now, I bought these for 160 Australian dollars, and the budget set I purchased were the Designer Dark Funder V2 for 60 Australian dollars. So let's tackle the Designer darts. Now, they come in a simple plastic clamshell packaging, cutting down on cost. And if we open up to reveal, not much. The barrels, the stems, two sets of the standard Designer flights. No thrills, no chills, just a set of plain, ordinary darts. These darts are a straight barrel with twin ring grip with the natural tungsten and black coating. Simple and satisfying. Actually very reminiscent of the old unicorn Phil Taylor Phase 1 darts. So let's take a look inside the code Gary Anderson box and see where the extra funds go. So the Gary Anderson darts come in a nice well made displayed box with a lot of colour and you can tell the work has gone into the display here. Looking very very nice indeed. We also have a little information card about Gary, a two time world champ, fantastic player, one of the greats of the game. No doubt. Now let's take a look at the darts themselves. So here we have, it's just a natural tungsten barrel with all the colors of the rainbow. Now, the code range from Unicorn is basically Unicorn taking the existing profile from the player's authentic dart, in this case, Gary Anderson, using the exact profile and dimensions, but reconfiguring the groove pattern to create an exciting new look and feel. As we can see, the familiar ring grip at the front of the barrel, and at the rear, we see they have the razor grip with the uh, Morse code pattern, spelling Anderson, in case you didn't know. And Gary must have liked these because I see the brand new released Nior darts uh, for Gary, and they, have, they are almost identical, just in black. Also in the box, we get two sets of sh shafts, spare shafts, uh, the Gripper 4 shafts with uh, glitter in the plastic, and a set of aluminium stems for when you hold them up to your eye, it looks like you're staring directly into a mirror ball. And also we get a variety of the Unicorn Ultra Fly Code DNA flights. So you get a bit of extra goodies with the code darts, but all these extras only account for $25 value, if that. So let's compare the pair. So stats and dimensions on both darts. Both darts are 90% tungsten. The Gary Anderson darts are a 23 gram and the designer darts are 22 grams. Gary Anderson's 6.3 millimeters wide. Designer darts 6.4 millimeters wide. Gary Anderson darts 52.4 millimeters length and the designer darts are 51 millimeters length. So not a lot of difference between the two there. Match weighting. The Gary Anderson darts were 22.97. 22.87 and 22.87 only just coming in at their guaranteed range of 0.1 grams which is a little high most dart manufacturers actually allow a 0.05 variance for match weighting so uh, yeah probably a little lazy there from unicorn you could say now the match weighting for Designer Dark Thunder V2 is 21.96, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97, 21.97
and 22 grams even. So only 0.04 of a gram difference in match weighting for the design of darts. So there is little difference between the two darts. So I guess we better take them to the board and see if one performs better than the other. I will be using the same setup on both darts to be fair. And the plan is I will use a set of darts for a day. Then the next day play four games against the Dart Connect app and vice versa with the days break in between to avoid any biases. So here we go, starting off with the Dark Thunder V2s. Shoot Old to shoot for the bull. And out of bull, random selection to take the honours. And he loses again. Yeah, Dark Connect lap starting very slow with a 26. What can the big dog provide? Here he goes. Ooh, a little bit high. A lot better. And a lot better. Lovely start there from the big dog with the design of Dark Thunders. Dark Connect lap following the 26 with a pitiful 11. Getting an easy ride. Nice looking dart just outside the treble. Touch higher with the second. And still a touch higher with the third. A good 60 just to keep the scoreboard ticking over nicely. Dart Connect that finally getting some scores on the board with an 85. And here goes the dog. 20, triple 20, 20. Oh, down the bottom for a 99. Good switch there from Dane. Not a bad scoring rate at the moment. Here comes the Dark Connect at now. 125, hitting back really hard. Got to keep on his toes here, the big dog. Slides one into the triple five. Down the bottom again. 54 scored. Just a little bit tit for tat with the scoring from Dane early. And Dark Connect app going back to its pitiful ways with a 22. Here he goes. Can he produce something here? He's got 80. Thinking about it. Where's he going? 16 route. 96 scored. Fifty two remains. Uh, Dark Connect app forty five, not on a finish. It's got six stars to finish this game, the big dog. No mistakes this week. Single 12. Just misses the double top. And sends that one in and the double guns come out. Nice tidy leg there from Shoe Dog. So here we go. The game results for the Designer Dark Thunder darts. A healthy average. Not insanely high, but a nice consistent average. A 61.82. Obviously the first leg... Uh, really good, 18 dart leg, that's really good darts in anyone's book. Uh, a couple of probably a little sloppy, maybe unlucky visits, but yeah. Next leg, uh, really struggled, lost that focus again, fell in the hole. Losing a 30 leg game of darts, uh, truly horrible. And the next two legs to follow were, were okay. Yeah, a couple of sloppy visits again, but yeah. 23 and a 26 start leg. Okay, okay. A normal night, you'd, you'd, you'd like them. They're not bad legs. So here we go to the board with the code Gary Anderson Unicorn Darts. Shoe Dog shooting for the bull. Yeah, and that's far, far too to the right there. Not very good at all. Dart Connect, that will go first again. Scoring okay with an 81 first up. Big dog just taking a sip of water, trying to compose himself. Yeah, and slides one into the triple fives early. Excellent correction. And another one sliding out. I think the grip, just on the grip of the darts, just can get away from you a little bit with these darts. Dark net that, 47, hitting back. There he goes, the dog, 20. Down to the bottom. Ooh, just outside of the treble 19, 58 scored. 
Needs to be a little bit better than that. Not having a real good time with these darts. Just with the aggressive grip on the rear of the darts. But a lot better there from Dane. Nice little ton. Ticking away okay. Not too bad early. Dart connect that just in front. And we got 20. Oh, a loose one. Yeah, a bit of aggression coming out of there. Not really enjoying himself here. Having to do a lot of work for very little reward. And making a mistake on the app there I seen. Should have been 45. Here he goes. Here he goes. Just missing out on the 180. Two in, one out. 82 left for the big dog. Treble 14, double tops. Easy as you like. Oh, he's gone down. He's got the cough. Oh, beautiful dart first. Can he do it? Nice little tidy. Whoa, that's way up there. And that's way too low and he doesn't like it. He does not like that very much at all. Very frustrated. How many darts does he need? Oh, that's rubbish. Next one, yes, nails it. Got away with a good leg there. I'll have to say, we'll go and have a look at the other three games we played now. So, on to the Unicorn Code Gary Anderson game. Uh, not a... Uh, wasn't really happy with the darts. The average reflects that, 55.11. Obviously, we, we did get the okay first leg. 20 darts in a leg. It's it's okay. It's a good level to be at. A couple of good visits and a couple of poor visits. Just with the, um, the extra grip on the rear of the darts, I was really finding it hard to control. I, I was, if I was letting one go, they'd just they'd go for a mile. And the second game is... It proves everything I said. I absolutely went to water. I was clicking on at okay. I sort of come together a little bit, and then yeah, I had double trouble. You know, and, and I'm still winning the leg, but a 38 dart leg is is uh, putrid. Uh, third leg okay again. Kind of got back into a little bit of a rhythm. 23 darts. Yeah, nothing special. But okay, and then the final leg, you know, 27 dart leg. Oh, I'm just finding it so hard to just get that consistency with these darts. And I think the uh, the scoring power and the games reflected that. So, final thoughts on the cheap versus the expensive darts video. Uh, we'll start off with the Designer Dark Thunder. You know, we'll go through what I like. A very simple design, a nice consistent grip, a nice consistent grip, and points in the board were pretty good. Black points to supplied standard were excellent. Uh, what I did not like necessarily about the darts, and it comes down to a little bit of a design flaw. You know, the designer copying a you know 20 plus year old dart, an unnecessary second lip on the cone. And an unnecessary lip on the rear of the barrel as well. Um, <clears throat> look, the design could have been a hell of a lot better if they just smoothed all that out. You know, it helps with deflections. And they do get banged up a little bit as well. So, yeah, not really good there from designer. But other than that, not too much to say about designer darts. They're just very simple. But a few things there they could easily change, make them a little bit better dart. Designer darts... Overall rating, I give the grip level a 5 out of 10. Yeah, a very nice, subtle grip. That worked really well. Uh, design, 6 out of 10, as mentioned. If they just fix those unnecessary lips at either end of the barrel, could have been a 8 or 9 uh, dart on design. Uh, quality, I gave them a 7 out of 10. Match weighting was okay. Uh, everything else, it, pretty standard. Uh, and the... You know, the flights and the stems complete with the, the dart setup. Nothing too outrageous, so 
just a 7 out of 10 for quality. Performance of the darts I found uh, very good. Uh, yeah, this is a nice consistent grip. It was easy to throw and performed quite well. Uh, 7 out of 10 for performance. And value, as I said, $60 Australian. Fantastic price. Uh, fantastic price for a 90% tux and barrel dart. 9 out of 10 for value, which gives the designer a 7 out of 10, which is a very good score for a $60 dart. And the Unicorn Code Gary Anderson darts, uh, what I liked about these, the natural tungsten look with the rainbow colours, a uh, very, very beautiful looking dart, there's no doubt about that. The presentation of the box was first class also. Uh, I like the front part of the grip very much. The ring grip on the front was very nice. And the points were also very good, held on the board excellently. Things I didn't particularly like on the code Gary Anderson darts. Uh, the match weighting could have been a lot better. Uh, Unicorn only offer 0.1 of a gram for match weighting, which is nearly double for other manufacturers. Uh, most manufacturers offer a, you know, a 0 0.05 gram differential when uh, match weighting. So yeah, it could have been a lot better there from Unicorn. And also, I really wasn't a fan of the razor grip at the, the end of the barrel. I am a rear gripper. And just the inconsistencies in the grip made it really hard to control the dart. Sometimes I was losing control of many darts when throwing these, so wasn't a huge fan of that. Uh, it was just a shame too, because the front part of the grip was really nice, and yeah, just the razor grip on the end was, just made me struggle just a little bit with the control of the dart. I wasn't a big fan of the grip of four stems that come with the Gary Anderson darts either. Uh, I assume they call them the Gripper 4 because they do slip out very, very easily. So if you like picking flights up off the floor consistently, these would be the stems for you. And that's why in the throwing part of the video, I use the uh, Red Dragon Nitro uh, stems. A uh, lot better hold than the, than the Gripper 4s, which... And I will be honest, fair enough, they are a only a 75 micron flight. But, yeah, geez, it could have been a lot better than that. So, the final ratings for the Code Gary Anderson darts. I uh, gave the front half of the grip a 5.5 out of 10. That was a very nice feeling grip. And just the razor grip on the end, I gave an 8 out of 10. Extremely grippy. The design of the dart, an 8 out of 10, said a very great looking dart. The design looks fantastic, so a great job there from Unicorn. But unfortunately, quality, I had to give them a 6 out of 10. Just with the match weighting and the, the stems and flights provided, uh, not particularly very good. So 6 out of 10. Uh, performance, I had to give them a 5 out of 10. Struggled really hard with these darts uh, throwing. Did not make me feel confident whatsoever with just the, uh, the, you know, the two different grips on the barrel and me being a rear gripper. Yeah, something I struggled with and really couldn't get the best out of them. So with that, I gave them a five out of ten for performance. Uh, value of the darts, as I said, one hundred and sixty dollars Australian. I paid for these darts and. Realistically, you can't use any of the hardware provided because nothing's any good. The quality should be a lot better. So unfortunately, I gave them a 4.5 out of 10 for value, which gives the total ranking for the Code Gary Anderson darts a 5.5 out of 10. So in summary, if you were to purchase a cheaper dart over an expensive dart in this uh, situation, the Dark Thunder V2 came well on top over the Code Gary Anderson darts. And there's a lot more versatility if you did purchase these darts. They come in a lot more different range of weights. And you could purchase three sets of these, 
all different weights to try at home for the cost of one set of the code Gary Anderson Dart. So, yeah. So don't be fooled by pricing and buying darts. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Your support means everything to me, and I thank you all for watching.